Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Uh, we had discussed the transit of Rahu into the sign of Aries um, in a long detail uh, for every ascendant. So if you have not watched that video, then please go and watch it. You will find it in uh, my channel. Uh, but what we uh, need to also discuss is the transit of Rahu through the nakshatras, right? Because nakshatras are finally uh, something which ultimately culminates into a zodiac sign. Therefore, it's very important we understand the flavor of the nakshatras if we really want to understand the uh, flavor of the zodiac sign. So, therefore, today we shall discuss about Rahu's transit uh, into the Bharani nakshatra. So, Rahu Ketu are always retrograde, as you know, right? So, therefore, generally planets move from Ashwini to Bharani, then Kritika. But now Rahu is moving retrograde always. So, now Rahu is going to enter Bharani Nakshatra after some time uh, around, uh, depending on if you take true nodes or mean nodes. So, you could say around uh, 14, 15 June or 12 13 july around this time so you could take for an estimate mid july to be on the safe side or you could take mid of june uh, since uh, this time to february next year which is 2023 um, rahu will be uh, in the nakshatra of bharani right so bharani nakshatra is a very interesting nakshatra because as um, Yesterday, I had uploaded the video on uh, Venus Rahu uh, conjunction in the sign of Aries. So, in that, I said uh, that Bharani Nakshatra is a very interesting nakshatra because it is a nakshatra of restraint which comes in the sign uh, Aries, which is related to starting new things. So, so it's like starting something new but putting the pause button. Or sometimes the stop button it's the nakshatra of endings right so how does it work uh, why why is the nakshatra which signifies endings present in the sign which shows starting something right of course you could have said that oh maybe if it was before the sign of Aries then it would have meant oh something is ending and something new is starting right but then Aries shows initiation, the, the nakshatra Ashwini. But, but what what does Bharani show? How, how, how is it that, so does it mean that anything which starts in Ashwini will end in Bharani? Then that's like the end of the cycle, right? Something starts and something else ends. But that's not what it means. It means when you start something in Ashwini, right? Then... You got to come to Bharani, which is the nakshatra of ending. So, what do you end there? It means we end our old thought process. We we end our old patterns, which were uh, not benefiting us in the long run, right? <coughs> so, therefore, whenever a planet is transiting Bharani, you will always realize that you are forced to give up something which you know deep down inside that it's not going to work. But we think that maybe it will work someday. If not today, then tomorrow. But that's the thing about Bharani. Uh, it sometimes never works. But then the question is what will work? Well, we got to understand that if we still decide to stay in the past, uh, we will always remain in the past, right? So therefore, whenever we are starting something new, we got we have to understand that we will have to do something which we never did right as they say if you want something which you never had you must do something which you never did right so therefore whenever a planet transits bharani uh, you will be forced to look deep down within and you will be forced to introspect and check what is that I am doing consistently, which is not giving me any results, right? So therefore, we got to, we have to understand that Rahu is going to stay in Bharani Nakshatra, which means 
now what does rahu ketu represents they represent boundaries basically right so in numerology they represent the number 4 and when i talk of boundaries they represent physical boundaries and intellectual boundaries emotional boundaries mental boundaries right boundary of anything basically they represent borders basically right so therefore if you are running rahu mahadasha or antardasha then this is going to be even prominent then you will be forced to give up boundaries related to uh those areas which rahu controls in your chart right and of course now you may be thinking but this transit is going to be same for everybody right same in the sense it's transiting uh it will transit bharni for everybody right all the 7 or 100 billion million trillion people in this world or in the other worlds also so how is it going to be different for me and everybody else right so the short answer is it depends on your dashas so if you are running the mahadasha specifically of rahu or antardasha or any planets uh which are conjunct rahu ketu then you will feel the effect of this transit quite significantly otherwise you uh, otherwise also you might feel but it may not be very significant until uh, so if 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 till february next year you do not have any rahu pratyantar or antardasha coming up or mahadasha coming you may not feel uh the impact of this transit in a life changing way right now does it mean that anybody who has rahu dasha is going to have benefits because of this transit well certainly but provided you change the old patterns and you take up new projects right so therefore whenever planet transits bharani we have to understand that we have to introspect our habits so bharani nakshatra is the nakshatra which chain which says that i will give you success but incrementally right uh, it's not something like uh, ardra nakshatra where there is overnight success right um which means you have to understand that it doesn't matter how fast you are going until you are going right so it is important that you understand that small things in life the atomic habits are something which will end up giving us success eventually so if you feel when rahu enters bharni if you feel that oh my god life has become difficult it seems my friendships are breaking my marriage is breaking my career is breaking everything is breaking my health is breaking so and so so whichever area of life you feel is breaking or is not working you got to ask yourself what are the habits that i have in my life which are associated directly or indirectly with that particular event or that particular area of life so for example if uh, you have problems in your career then it could mean that you are not disciplined at your work right you are using social media rahu can show social media or this obsession to prove everybody that i have the best life in the world i am the best right but if you do not have discipline when you are working you are into social media right you are trying to prove rather than to improve should i repeat you are trying to prove rather than to improve of course it's also important to prove yourself nothing wrong against that but the best way to prove yourself is to always improve yourself right so therefore if it's marriage then it could be that you know you are not communicating uh, properly with your spouse you are not um, taking care into the expectations of your spouse right and that is why there is distance and you feel that maybe my marriage is not going to work or if it is with, with your health then what are you eating what are you exercising when are you sleeping how how good is your sleep how good is your uh, friend circle right so irrespective of whichever area of life it is which you will anyways come to know when this transit happens it's like a short way of saying right then you got to ask yourself what is that one thing that i can change today 
बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट एन ईजी ट्रांजिट आई एम मेकिंग इट वेरी क्लियर इट इज नॉट एन ईजी ट्रांजिट इट इज नॉट अ ट्रांजिट वेयर यू कैन जस्ट प्रे टू गॉड एंड सम मैजिकल थिंग हैपन्स एंड द गॉड्स विल अपियर फ्रॉम द स्काई एंड ब्लेस यू ओ नो दैट्स द लास्ट थिंग दैट हैपन्स इन भारनी राइट द गॉड्स टेक अवे ऑल द ब्लेसिंग समटाइम्स so therefore whenever it's bharani you got to understand that i will only be successful if i make small changes but today i got to ask myself among all the things that i want to change what is that one thing that i can change now today at this very moment not after 10 years not tomorrow not tomorrow morning not from monday now what can i change right so if you feel that your sleep is not good maybe it's uh, 10 pm or 11 pm or maybe it's 3 am in the morning and you are still watching this video then stop it now and go to sleep just cut it doesn't matter <laughs> watch it tomorrow right so whatever is whatever is that call within you that tells you that yes this is one thing you can change right that is the thing you should start changing with and then gradually after a week ask yourself what is the next thing that i can change right and then gradually by the time february march next year will come you will realize that yes i made some serious commitments and i made certain changes in my life because of which um, i am now in a much better situation and that's the beauty of this transit so people ask me what will happen after this transit is over you know when rahu goes to ashwini what will happen after february 2023 and i am like well it depends on you what happens right of course you can always say oh but in my horoscope this was indicated which is you know destined i anyways can't do anything right well even if you say that who created that problem it was you in the first place right because of your own karma this problem is coming so either it's destiny or whatever you want to blame it upon you got to understand that you are the creator of your own destiny so if you have screwed up something then you are the only one who can improve it right so focus on the atomic habits and do not expect quick results but expect incremental gains and that is the way you will be successful so be disciplined take your time and ponder upon and make the right choices all right so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me then you will see the website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you